guys welcome to another vlog today keep your burnley uh yes i'm wearing a coat for once you know that's how you know it's cold in england um, look, 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 you can see my all oh, my days um we are burnley to the league very good team obviously chair's not here yet johansson's not in the team fucking george thomas is starting uh it's looking a bit long in it but you know what we're gonna we're gonna edge it 2-1 we're gonna shout so watch uh, Willock's going to score in the 83rd minute. Brilliant, he's going to run past the whole team from the halfway line. He's going to put it in the bottom point. It's going to be brilliant. Yeah, watch, it's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, it's been over a month since our last home game, which was a loss to Huddersfield. So hopefully we can put that right. Hopefully Paul, he will, he'll do a job today as uh, interim manager. I'm excited to be back, man. It's been so fucking cold. The Yang's also just come back from the World Cup when he's in the team. Uh, and the Sea King's Fort Viz are up there. I'm apparently going to have today. Uh, he's there. Love you, lad, but I hope you get absolutely fucking better today. Done. Uh, shit. If all I can say, we were pathetic. First half, way too defensive, didn't create anything. Then we hit Willock off at half time, which makes no sense. And you know, we didn't deserve anything because we didn't create anything. Uh, on that Willock thing, uh, if he's injured, why is he starting? Like, it surely it'd make more sense to bring him on later when you know we actually have a chance to make something happen. Uh, to be fair, Shadipo and Adoma, when they came on, they looked all right. Especially Shadipo, he you know, actually tried to drive the ball forward. Um, shame J Jimmy made a mistake against his old club. Them nice to see. Uh, but this referee, horrendous. Their first goal came from uh, and the awarding of a free kick. That was just not a foul. He clearly dived. Great free kick, though. But, again, it shouldn't have counted. Um, second goal, Dieng made a good save. And then no one was there to block their guy who was just open good finish and the yeah, third goal was just a mistake 
fuck me, man. Fuck me. We need a manager in ASAP. We need we need signings. Dyke didn't do anything because he got no service again. Um, Laird tried to bring the ball forward. I thought Powell had a pretty poor game. I don't think Clark Salter was great. Midfield, you know, field was all right. Uh, Dissolve didn't really do anything. And Tim, Tim Rugbenham, he's the only one that actually showed a little bit of heart. You know, um, there's a moment where um, he just completely went in for a bandy play. It reminds me of the Roy Keane quote. Just, just, I just want to crash into someone. Like, and he did, you know, and I respected that. And that was the only good moment of the match for me. But yeah, overall, poor result again. I, you know, I know I, no one really expected us to beat Burnley or even get a draw against Burnley. And if we'd lost 1-0 or 2-0 and but had put in a decent shift, then fair enough. We played like absolute shit, yeah. And Burnley didn't even look that great. You know, it was just us being so poor. It's not good, man. Not 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 the way you wanted to come back after the, after the break, but... You know, hopefully we'll get a manager in in the next couple of days. Uh, he can work with the squad. Obviously, Elias will be returning soon. If he can go win the World Cup, you know, that, that'll be good because, uh, yeah, he'll be gassed. Hopefully, he'll help us out as well. But, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed that show. If you're a Burnley fan on here, you probably did enjoy it. But, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know who you want as a new manager. <sighs> Fucking shambles, man.